Hey guys, it's me, Myrie Barnes, and I am back with another video. So today is Wednesday, October 27th, and it's currently 5.31 p.m. And I have Claudia for today's video. And you guys are like, what is Claudia sitting on? Claudia is sitting on this little Barbie, to I don't know if it's Barbies, but it's like, or like Barbie dolls, it's like a little truck, a little uh, food truck, and so I decided to. Uh, so I didn't want to bring the Bobby. I just really wanted to bring my camera equipment and Claudia, so that I can only make one trip and not have to keep going back like I always do for the rest of my videos. So I just use this little truck. Um, it's my cousin's, and so I just use that, and then I put Claudia on there. So cute. Would uh, would look more cute if Claudia was in the girl outfit, but it's okay because boys can play with pink trucks as well. So I don't want to waste any more time on this intro. I am aiming for the video to be 15 minutes or less because mm, no one wants to hear me ramble and rant for more than 15 minutes. Probably not even for more than five minutes, but that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to be ranting about one of my favorite apps. Mercari and I know you guys are like what you love Mercari you always post and rave and Basically promote Mercari and I'm like I know right and for them to do me like this Can't have it. I bragged about them and they treated me like dirt. So you guys are like what's the tea? Give it to me. I am going to so you guys know Mercari on Mercari is where you list and buy things. I buy things all the time. I list things all the time. I more so buy than sell because that's just me. I like shopping <laughs> and I love shopping online. I've had Mercari since the app. I don't want to say since the app came out because I'm not sure when it came out. But since the app got popular in 2016, I've had it since then. Um, since then, I've sold items and I bought tons of items. I have 82 reviews, all five stars. Oh, let me focus that. Y'all see that? It's blurry. It's not going to focus, but that's 82 reviews. All five stars. All 82 of my reviews are five stars. Selling and buying. Okay? I've never had a bad complaint. Ever. And even off of Mercari, those of you who purchased dowels from me in the past, and those of you and those of you who've bought when I used to sell like baby clothes, I've always got positive feedback. This time I was I decided to sell some crocs. You guys know I love crocs. However, okay, so long story short, I have bought these limited edition Hidden Valley Ranch Crocs back in May. I got them in September. When they arrived to me, they were bent. And I realized I ordered the wrong size. So I contacted Crocs and they weren't able to send me the same pair of the Hidden Valley because they're limited edition. So that was understandable. I tried to get a refund, but they will only do... I don't know. They just sent me a different pair of the classic Crocs. So them replacing my Hidden Valley wrench with classic Crocs were not equal value at all because the classic Crocs are like $45 and I paid around 80 something dollars for those. So I was like, whatever, I don't want to get into it with Crocs. They're my favorite. I mean, the customer service, I guess it was okay. Out of 10 stars, I would give it an 8. The lady was friendly, but it's like, what can I do with a bent pair of Crocs? I can't do anything. So my best bet was to sell it and just get my money back. Now, if you go on Mercari right now and search up Hidden Valley Ranch Crocs, they are all super, super expensive. Like, I'm going to search it up right now. They're all super expensive, all over $100, $150, some are even $200. So, I didn't want my Crocs to be that expensive because that's not what I paid for, as well as they are bent. Since I do not have my printer, I have to, I had to pay for shipping, so I had to do my own label. And not only does Macari takes out tons of money for fees and just listing on their site and taxes. Like, they take out so much money for fees. Long story short, I know, I'm, I'm trying to hurry up. I ended up selling the Crocs to the person who bought them. But first, they negotiated, which I was totally fine with. Um, I had them originally listed for $150 because processing fees, selling fees, tax, and I had to take out shipping. 
like shipping was included in that price because I had a ship of my own. So that was 150. They offer 120. I counter for 140. They declined it. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Then they ended up texting me talking about thanks. And I will have everything on the screen. Thank for the counter, but that's more than I budgeted. Is 140 your final offer? I said 135 is the lowest price I'll take. They said, okay, is the shipping still free? Um, I said, yes, still free shipping. And mind you, I had to pay for that shipping. Um, they said, okay, if you send me the offer, how long will it take for them to come? I was getting it for a gift. I said, I will ship them out on Saturday using USPS. It usually takes three days, so I would say next week, Wednesday, or Thursday. They said, okay, and then they bought the Crocs. Like promised, I shipped them out early on Saturday, waited 30 minutes in line, got them shipped out, provided the tracking, and we were good. Here comes Monday. They got their item I shipped on Saturday, they got their item on Monday. And we are actually really, really far away. So I was like, yay, they got them earlier since it's a gift. I was really excited about that. And then I checked my notifications and they wanted a return. They wanted a return. So I was like, what could they probably want to return on? I was so confused. So I looked and um, this is what they wanted to return on. The item listed said it was a woman's size eight or 38 item that we received was a woman's 10 or a 41 also the item was badly bent and not even available for resale i would like a refund so i was confused because my whole point of reselling which i told you guys in the beginning of this video was because the crocs were bent and because i had also ordered the wrong size so i was confused so here is my listing guys this is my listing like my description this is me I said exclusive limited edition Hidden Valley Ranch Crocs. I bought these in May and they came to me in September. These Crocs sold out the same day that they were listed. They came, they come with the special Hidden Valley Ranch bag and all of the original gibbets. Unfortunately, during transit, they got messed up slash bent. See photos, which I took photos of them because I would never, ever, ever in my life sell something that's ruined without disclosing it. I said there may possibly be a way to unbend them. I'm unsure. I also ordered the wrong size. I thought they were an eight in women, but they're not. The size is eight in men and 10 in women. These shoes are unisex. I was unable to get a refund and since they were limited edition, they didn't have any new ones they could send to me. So I decided to list them for sale. Then I talked about how I can only ship on Saturdays. And then I said, absolutely no refund slash exchange. So please be sure that you want to purchase. On the screen, you guys can see the pictures that I took of the Crocs. You can tell from the pictures that the Crocs are bent. So even if they didn't read the description, you can see that the Crocs are bent. And if they did read the description and you can't tell from the photo that the Crocs are bent, they will see in the description that I said the Crocs were bent. So that one just rules out their whole reason of wanting a refund. Now, they also said I said it was a size 8 in women. I took a photo of the bottom of the shoe that says 8 in men and a 10 in women. So I was just baffled that they could possibly want a refund and that the reasons that they wanted to refund. Sorry, yeah, I said that it was a men's A and a woman's 10. I put that in the description as well, as well as you can see it on the bottom of the shoe, as well as you can see it on the hanger. Then they told me that I can either accept the return or request a review. So me being me, I requested a review because if I felt that their reasoning was good for them to re um, get a refund, then I would have just accepted it. Like, if I did not disclose something or took photos of it, unknowingly or knowingly, then I would have just accepted the refund, even though I said no refund. So I was like, no, I listed every single thing in there as well as took photos. So this is what I sent to Mercari, who was no help at all, none. I said, as listed in the description, I said that I myself had thought that I purchased an 8 in women, but in fact, it was an 8 in men and a 10 in women. I also included photos at the bottom of the shoe to show the size and it indicates the men dash 8 and women dash 10. When I purchased the shoes, they came to me bent, which it, once again, I stated in my description. That was my whole reasoning of selling them as well as I purchased the wrong size. All of this is stated in my description. The other thing that's the the, sorry guys, I'm trying to hurry up and read fast. The other thing that's stated in my description was no return slash refunds. I allow any and all questions, which they didn't have any. 
they should have rechecked the shoe size and looked at all photo listings and read the description as the size was in the photos that I listed as well as it being in the description. The shoes being bent is also in the description as well as I took photos of it. Please check out the listing and photos I posted. Everything is all there and stated in the description. I would never sell something that's messed up without disclosing it. So that's what I sent to Mercari so they can review it. They approved the buyer's return request. So I was like, wow. And so with them, clearly their buyers are all they care about, which is good for me being a buyer, but it's bad for me being a seller as I am both. To know that they would never side with a seller, even though the seller is correct and the buyer is wrong, just makes me not want to go on their app at all, which I'm not. I'm no longer listing anything on their app, and I'm going to try my hardest not to purchase anything. And if I do try to purchase something, I'm going to, because you can't even have a discussion on trying to purchase off of the app without them like banning your account because they only want you to purchase on their app because they have all those fees and they get paid for it so i'm going to try my hardest not to buy anything on there but i do know that there's always some good deals on there so i'm going to try not to but as far as selling to know that i could possibly have my item return to me after sending it off for absolutely no reason is i'm not never ever selling on there never promoting them again i'm never bringing them up they are horrible and they are very, very rude. Like, they didn't even give a reasoning. So, I had to message them. And they don't even have an email where you can message them. You have to, like, go through, like, loops, hoops, and tricks to even find a way to send them a message. So, I found a way to send them a message. And I said, this was the only way I was allowed to message you all. Very unprofessional. You only get 500 characters. So, I could I had to use it wisely. I said, first, I would not continue to use your app after this. I provided proof that everything in my listing was correct from the pictures to the description. I said everything about the shoes, the condition, and the size. And, oh, one thing I have to tell you guys. I accidentally picked the wrong category. I did not know I picked the wrong category until after this return thing. That's when I noticed I picked the wrong category. But even still, even with me picking the wrong category, I picked women's instead of men because I had the shoe list as an eight and then I accidentally clicked the women's category. And the main reason why I probably clicked it, it Macari, first of all, they pop up this um little thing, like a suggestion. Yeah, they popped up a suggestion on which category. I didn't click on that. They clicked on it. They had it already there. So that's probably the only thing I had wrong in the listings. But to be fair, there are tons of people who put the wrong things for listing. For an example, I had saved on my um on my likes, I had liked something because somebody put the wrong listing. For one, I love baby shoes, so I have a saved search of 1C baby shoes. C standing for crib, meaning they will fit Claudia, a newborn size baby. Now, if we're getting into, oh, because I put the wrong category, that means about everybody on this listing has chosen the wrong category. As you guys see on the screen here, we have kids shoes, and I liked it just so I can show it to you guys. It says size 1. The category is kids, boy shoes, boys, 0 to 24 months, and they put size 1C. This is not like a newborn could fit this shoe. This is a grown man shoe. What to tell me is if I buy these shoes, I will be allowed to return them because they said that they could fit a size newborn. Me knowingly looking at all the photos of this shoe cannot fit a size newborn. These shoes could fit me. That's why I just really want to exaggerate that point. But I said I accidentally picked the wrong category but the size was still in the description and I still took a photo of the bottom of it. I listed the item as new because they were still brand new with the tags on it. And then I said you've lost the seller. And then I included the screenshots of my shoe that I had listed as well as my description as well as them only messaging me to lowball and counter the price. That's the only reason they messaged me. They could have double checked and said, hey, I see at the bottom of the shoe it says men, eight, women's ten. Like, they could have messaged me anything. They could recheck the size. The only thing they were worried about was negotiating the price. This is what they said to me. Hey there, Maya. Thank you for bringing this matter to us. I understand that you are concerned with your recently sold item limited edition Hidden Valley Ranch Crocs being returned. I know that as a seller, it is important to you why was the item, why was the return approved? I've checked this for you and will provide you with information like they didn't already told me this. They would have read my description. It doesn't matter that the category was wrong. Like I said, there's plenty of people who have the wrong category. I chose the wrong category, but I still provided 
the description the correct the correct size as well as the photo had the correct size i checked and it looks like this was approved because the item was not as described the item was listed as a woman size 8 the actual size is woman size 10. duh you can check the status of a return and why it was requested under order status within 24 hours of the return request there you can see your buyer's complaint in the pictures they provided us they said i'm confident Oh, wait, no. They said, if your item is returned in a different condition, please contact us from the order status page within 24 hours after tracking confirms delivery back to you and we will gladly revisit the case. I'm confident I was able to provide adequate information about your concern. Before we close out this ticket, is there anything else I can help you with? I said yes, the category was wrong, which I did not notice until after the return. However, even with the category being stated for women's instead of men, I still listed the correct size in the description as well as took a photo of the bottom of the shoe with the size. There are plenty of people who put the wrong category by accident, me being one of them. If they read the description, they would have seen that it was a 10 in women. It's not hard to look at the pictures as well. I'm done with the app and the matter. I don't say in the matter of the fact, but they only had a limit of 500 characters once again. Why is that? Why do you have a limit on what people can type and say when they're trying to get the best service provided? I've never heard of that. I never heard of, oh, you can only type 500 characters when you're trying to figure out what's going on with your account. Another thing that really gave me red flag, red flag, red flag. Let me know if you guys have been seeing that all over social media, the red flag um, memes. But another thing that I have been giving me a red flag is you only have three days. Three days to ship out the item as a seller. So me being a seller, I only have three days to ship out them Crocs. And that's what I also put in my description I said I can only ship on Saturdays for right now, so please let me know before you purchase and I will hold them for you until Thursday. That way it gives me the three day time frame to ship. As a seller, we're only allowed to have three days to ship the item. We could be dying and they're like, you have one day left to ship the item. I remember it was like the next day. The person had bought the shoes and the next day they sent me a message like, hey, you have to ship out the item. Us as sellers have three days to ship out the item. Red flag, red flag, red flag. The buyer who returned the item or who wants to return the item has a week to ship it out. I confirmed my address was correct so that they can ship me back my shoes that I don't even want anymore. Today's the 27th. They have until November 3rd to ship out my item, which I will provide proof right here. They are like, if they don't ship out the item by November 3rd, then da da da. They have a week, they have a full week to return the item that they so desperately want to return, but us as sellers have three days. Red flag, red flag, red flag. I have no idea what I'm seeing. I, my listing, like in the description, if I said that they were a size eight in women, I would request it. I would be like, yes, return these because I am a liar. They are not eight in women. But I specifically said that they were not an eight in women. So what does they're not an eight in women translate to you? That they are an eight in women? If someone says they're not something, why would you think that they are? If someone specifically, like right now, if I could say he will go home as a boy and he would not go home as a girl. He would not go home as a girl. And then they try to return it. Because they wanted the baby as a girl and I sent the baby home as a boy. What part don't you understand of he would not go home as a girl? He would go home as a boy. What part of they're not a size 8 in women, they're 10 in women, don't you understand? I would not be listing anything on Mercari. And I'm not saying that I am right just because it's me. And I will take accountability when I am wrong. I have no problem admitting, admitting when I'm wrong. In this case, I felt that I was 100%... Mm, 98% correct because I did not realize it was in the wrong category. I'm done talking about it. I confirmed my address so they can ship me my shoes back after I waited in line for 30 minutes after I paid for their shipping after they negotiated me the money. I still accepted it. I still got in, got up early, got in line, waited 30 minutes, shipped it off, provided tracking. Only be played like a fool thanks to Mercari. I've never had an experience like this, which is why I just had to share. But we're approaching 26 minutes, and I know you guys are like, girl, shut up. But guys, I was like so happy that they sold because I was tired of seeing them. I don't even know. I don't even want to sell them anymore. I don't even have any 
where to sell them at. I mean, I can sell my Reborns on Reborns.com, which I have. I know someone commented, guys, my comments are messed up. They will, YouTube hates me. Let's get that out of the way. YouTube hates me because, first of all, they don't send out any notifications to any of my subscribers unless you have them on. So that's why it's very, very important to put them on. And they also delete all of my comments. So if you try to comment, YouTube do not care. They're like savages. They would delete it in a heartbeat. So, um, but I know someone asked me if I have listed the babies on Reborns.com. Yes, I did list the babies on Reborns.com. I didn't list Scarlett. I only listed Claudia because someone had put Scarlett on hold and they ended up not paying, which is why I do not even do holds. But I was like, I really need the baby sold. So I went against my better judgment and they ended up putting the baby on hold for a week and did not pay. I have been having a horrible month and this put the icing on the cake. So, Mercari, if you're watching this, you're very, very lucky that I am on my Reborn account. I don't have a regular YouTube because if I did, some of these not so nice words would have been said. I only shared this to warn you guys on how some people will literally do things just to do them because it's like, what was the reason? What? It's not making sense. You guys in the comments, let me know your opinion about it. Like, watch the whole thing. Obviously, don't watch 10 minutes of it and decide to comment because you're not hearing the full story. You're not understanding what's going on. I explained thoroughly what happened from beginning to end, which is why reading, watching, listening is very fundamental and important. Like, reading is so important. If only they would have read. And Ashley R, if you're reading this or watching this, horrible, horrible customer service. Horrible. You said that it was the Aiden Women's, where I said that at. Technically, they're your words and not mine because I never said an Aiden Women. You guys had that category. You guys shouldn't have suggested it and popped it up as soon as I typed in eight. Y'all the ones who decided. You know what? I'm done. Okay, okay. I keep going on and on, but I'm done. Because this video is 30 minutes. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, give thumbs it down. Do you, boo-boo. Have a wonderful weekend because I'm going to post this on Friday. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, that would be nice. If you don't, that's fine as well. Happy videos from here on out. I just had to warn you guys and let you guys know the type of stuff people do. Okay, I have to go.